Coming up on today's episode of Airport Unmanned. Airbus Aerial aids insurance and firefighters battling California's car fire. Amazon drone comes to National Aerospace Museum. And drones help Oklahoma farmers fight wild pig problems. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Airbus Aerial has been using its analytic tools to help insurance companies and first responders come to grips with California's raging car fire, still only 61% contained in recent reports. Airbus Aerial fuses satellite data with its in-house analytical systems to let insurance companies monitor areas they insure, enabling them to settle claims rapidly, in some cases before the homeowner even knows their house has burned down. One insurer logged into AA's system on Friday and by Saturday had settled about a thousand claims, says AA President Jesse Coleman. With the satellite, it's pretty interesting to be able to triage an entire county, Coleman says. The company also flies drones on some occasions and can integrate the closer-in data with the satellite imagery, but it's not doing so over the car fire, as the satellite data is meeting the needs of the insurance companies and first responders. Insurance companies can log in through the company's portal, enter their area of interest, and get daily updates, including which houses have been destroyed. Firefighters can get data about what areas have already been burned out and what locations might be next. Also updated daily. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The first beyond the line of sight unmanned aircraft systems flight in Kansas was flown on Monday, north of the town of Gibson in a joint effort by the Kansas Department of Transportation and more than 30 university and corporate partners. This was also the second flight in the nation to take place under the U.S. DOT's UAS Integration Pilot Program. If you fly your drone anywhere near a wildfire, you could get someone killed. That's the message the FAA is pushing aggressively. When firefighting aircraft have to be grounded due to an unauthorized drone flight, there are serious risks not just to first responders, but also to anyone in the fire's path. Authorized drone missions by the proper authorities can yield valuable information to firefighters by detecting hot spots, charting a fire's spread, and the progress in controlling a blaze. But when an unauthorized drone is spotted, they may have to stop all helicopter and airplane operations. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office Small UAS Program received a 2018 Achievement Award as a model local government program for the Virginia Association of Counties. The LCSO was the first of Virginia and the sixth agency in the United States to have a small UAS equipped with a Project Lifesaver antenna. The Project Lifesaver program is an electronic-based locating system for people with medical conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, autism, or other conditions who have a tendency to wander from home and become lost. The Counter UAS Summit being held this week will provide a forum for military leaders, program executive officers, industry executives, academics, and researchers to focus on emerging and innovative counter UAS technologies, such as directed energy weapons and EW measures. It will also address technologies to detect and identify drones in the battlefield and cities to prevent attacks on critical infrastructure and citizens. The event will take place this August 22nd through 24th at the Hilton Crystal City at Washington Reagan National Airport. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. 100 years ago, airmail delivery was new and a novelty. A century later, vertical takeoff and landing drones have taken the mantle as a potential next generation of air delivery. The story of this emerging technology will be a cornerstone of our new Thomas W. Haas We All Fly Gallery, a new exhibition that is part of the ongoing reimagining of the museum. 
the museum is excited to feature an example of Amazon's work in the autonomous aerial delivery field, the Amazon Prime Air Hybrid Drone. The Amazon's Prime Air Hybrid Drone rises vertically to nearly 400 feet and can fly to over 10 miles from an Amazon warehouse to a customer's backyard. This particular demonstration model takes off and lands vertically, but travels to its destination horizontally. Amazon is currently testing different drone designs for use in different environments. Amazon's drone will be on display as an example of how personal and commercial drones have the potential to reshape our everyday lives. Drones are being used in an experiment being conducted by the Choctaw Nation in central Oklahoma to combat crop damage caused by wild pigs in the state. Wild pigs can cause about $2 billion in crop damage each year. As a part of the FAA's drone pilot program, the aircraft are being used to drop corn into traps used to capture the animals. The FAA has authorized flights at night and beyond visual line of sight to carry out the experiment. We see drones as an extension of smart farming technology. Drones provide the next step toward robotics and automation, said Mike Comp, an agricultural drone expert at the Noble Research Institute in Ardmore, Oklahoma. Noble scientists advise the Choctaw Nation drone program. Intel is working with the Choctaw Nation to evaluate a new system that can teach drones developed by different companies to communicate and avoid collisions. DJI is also partnering with the Choctaw Nation on the wild pig trapping effort. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.